Utah led the way as one of the first states in the country to enact criminal sex extortion laws. Perpetrators blackmail their victims by threatening to reveal compromising images or videos. But does Utah's law fall short of protecting its victims? That's the question. ABC4's Brittany Johnson has been looking into this and joins us with the story tonight. Brittany. Well, Emily, this bill fails to hold anyone under the age of 18 accountable for their actions. Now you see these numbers behind me. It shows that minors are the most prolific users of social media, Snapchat, and it's where many predators are finding their victims, including this man, 19-year-old Ryan Gilbert of South Jordan. Prosecutors say he used Snapchat to blackmail dozens of girls into sending him nude photos, but he won't face charges for those girls he allegedly victimized when he was a minor. Gabe Ryan Gilbert, charged with five counts of aggravated sexual extortion of a child and four counts of sexual exploitation of a minor. Prosecutors say Gilbert sextorted girls well before the age of 18. ABC4 News has learned there could be at least 50 additional victims. But prosecutors say many of these victims will never see any justice because Gilbert was a minor when he committed most of the crimes. Under Utah's current cyber exploitation law, prosecutors cannot charge anyone under the age of 18 who commits extortion. But there is a whole swath of victims, potentially, who could receive a measure of justice, and we are not going to be able to give them a measure of justice because the perpetrator happens to be under the age of 18. Salt Lake County District Attorney Sim Gill prosecutes these cases. What I remember being told uh, uh, by one of our folks when this was going on, well, uh, uh, you know, kids will be kids or boys will be boys, but I don't find that a very satisfying answer uh, when it comes to this kind of behavior. Research shows underage females are much more likely to be sextorted by someone in their peer group. The Salt Lake County DA's office supported the original version of the bill which labeled the act a crime. But many state lawmakers refused to pass the bill without the addition of the age requirement. In this email obtained by ABC4 News, Gill's office requested that the bill's sponsor, Senator Kurt Bramble, draft an additional bill that would prohibit minors from committing sextortion. Writing in part, we hope that some judicial intervention in cases where a juvenile sexually extorts another juvenile will prevent more serious offenses when those juveniles become adults. Juvenile activity is different than a predator with malintent going after someone in a sextortion case. That's what we we're focused on. And, you know, as we look back on it in hindsight, some of our statutes, you can prosecute a youth as an adult given certain egregious or aggravating circumstances. This is something that we probably ought to look at applying something similar in this case. A bill that would allow the prosecution of minors who committed sextortion has yet to be drafted. I think that everybody who is interested in protecting victims would recognize that it's a simple fix and would welcome an opportunity to correct this in a way where we can deliver a measure of justice to all our citizens, not to just some of our citizens. The AG's office and the DA's office both agree here. They are not out looking to file charges and prosecute teenagers who are sexting back and forth. They want the predators, the perpetrators, who are blackmailing others into sending them nude photos to be held accountable. And Brittany, this raises the question. In Gabe Gilbert's case, mm -hmm. the AG's office has said that there is evidence he was manufacturing child pornography images before the age of 18. Will he face charges for that? So the AG's office, that's not in their jurisdiction, right? The uh, manufacturing child pornography under the age of 18. And to your question about the alleged sextortion that he was committing under the age of 18, absolutely not. He will not mm -hmm. face charges for those because he's protected under Utah's law. And this story broke back in July. Victims are still coming forward in this case. So mm -hmm. if anyone has been a victim in this case or any others, you want to call this number on your screen, 801 281 one two one one for help. Thank you for that, Brittany. Some important information there. All right.